creating your first checklist. Checklist is a service app for Microsoft Teams that allows you to organize, collaborate, track real-time progress, and be on top of deadlines of your repetitive task and recurring processes. Today, I'm excited to demonstrate how to create your first checklist. Alan is the HR manager and wants to create an HR onboarding checklist for John who will be arriving in on February 5th. Creating a checklist is divided into two steps. First, we create the checklist header and then adding tasks. Chapter 1, Creating a Header. Click New Checklist. We provide a collection of ready templates that are specifically designed to address common procedures in a company. However, let's start by creating a first checklist without any template. We can choose between creating a single checklist or configuring a recurring checklist. But for now, let's create a single checklist first. To begin, let's assign a name to the checklist. Requester is someone who oversees the progress and completion of tasks in the checklist. By default, it is the current user who is Alan in our case. Event date is the most significant date for a checklist. All tasks due date will be relative to this event date. In this example, we use John joining date. The checklist calendar feature is essential for accurately calculating task due date. You can update and manage your calendars in the settings area. Default working days is set to define working days to be Monday to Friday. You can adjust or create new calendar in the setting area. Utilizing tags can assist you in organizing and filtering your checklist. You can create new tags in the settings. We skip this part for the time being. Chapter 2, Adding Task. Let's add few tasks necessary to John's onboarding and assign them. Procure PC needs to be done 10 working days before John joining date, so we put minus 10 in the due date field. Diego, the procurement officer, is responsible for this task so we're gonna assign Diego to the assignee. The reviewer is accountable for reviewing and closing a task but their role is optional in this particular task, we won't have a reviewer assigned. Now we are adding two more tasks procuring an ID card and introducing the company. Task addition is complete. Let's proceed to the next screen to review the checklist information. After reviewing, we can now submit the checklist. When submitting a checklist, Asini and the reviewer will get a notification. Megan is also receiving a notification. And back to Alan's screen. After submitting the checklist, notice that due dates have been calculated. Both the event date and the calendar being used are factors that determine the calculated due date for a task. That's a brief overview about how to submit a first checklist. Thanks for watching and we hope you find our app useful.